Hello, friends, and welcome back to What the Health with Dr. L, where I share with you brief, less than 10 minutes, evidence-based, backed up by scientific medical research, answers to important health and wellness questions. And today's question says, Dr. L, you have mentioned that sleep is a very important factor in achieving good health and strong immune system. Why is that? Actually, over the years, we have found out that sleep has a wide range of very important physiological functions to achieve homeostasis or a good internal health balance and also to support the work of the immune system. And research shows that people who are chronically sleep deprived, they are not able to fall into sleep and continue to sleep for at least six to eight hours. Uh, they end up uh, with a lot of health uh, problems. Uh, some of which could be life-threatening. So for, for example, uh, people who are chronically sleep deprived, uh, they are at a higher risk to develop uh, uh, morbid obesity, develop cardiovascular uh, diseases, develop cancer, different types of cancer, develop uh, uh, depression and uh, mood swings. Uh, also, uh, sleep deprivation uh, is known to be a contributing factor to uh, serious cognitive problems such as Alzheimer's and dementia and you know uh, cognitive decline and uh, poor memory also it, it uh, can compromise uh, the functions of our immune system uh, why is that because uh, during sleep especially during the anabolic restful stage of sleep, the deep sleep, stage three and four uh, in the delta, delta stage, uh, the body produces uh, a lot of very important hormones such as human growth hormone, which is very important to uh, build lean muscle tissues and to uh, protect our muscle mass it's also also very very important to repair any damage in the body it also helps us to produce uh, leptin which is the satiety hormone that hormone is very important uh, to protect us from over overeating uh, it also helps to uh, pr produce uh, melatonin and the melatonin uh, as we have discovered is very important uh, to increase the ratio of the brown fatty tissues in the body and brown fatty tissues uh, ver they, they play a very important role in uh, terms of uh, burning off the white fatty tissues so it, it helps to it helps us to get rid of the uh, excess bad fats in the body you know the visceral fats helps us to keep uh, our weight at, at uh, uh, a good uh, level. Also, melatonin is anti-cancerous. Uh, we know that uh, people who lack melatonin uh, end up at a higher risk for different types of cancer as well. Uh, poor sleep leads to imbalance in cortisol. Cortisol is another hormone that is important for our health because it supports uh, the uh, building or the, the production of all the thyroid hormones and it gives us the energy we need especially in the morning but at night we need cortisol to be at its uh, lowest level uh, so that in the morning we'd have enough cortisol to give us the energy we need in the morning uh, you know deep sleep helps to set this cortisol cycle at the right rhythm uh, otherwise, we end up we end up uh, with too much cortisol at night, you know. And in the morning, we would have too little cortisol. We we'll, we will be groggy and not able to function without having to take a strong stimulant like, you know, strong coffee or any type of uh, stimulant, which is not good. That's not good. And by the way, sleep quality has very little to do with the number of hours. It it has a lot to do with the quality of sleep itself you know uh, whether we are able to get into uh, the deep restful anabolic stage of sleep uh, also uh, during sleep uh, 
you know, uh, the uh, lymphatic system in the brain, uh, that is uh, the, the, uh, the system uh, that, that manages all the cellular waste products. Uh, it helps us to detoxify the body. Um, during deep sleep, uh, a lot of detoxification happens. It happens in the liver, other organs, and uh, it also happens in, in the brain. The uh, lymphatic system doesn't go all the way up to the brain because of the brain barrier, but we have discovered this glymphatic system where the brain tissues shrink and that glymphatic system helps to get rid of all the built up damaged tissues and toxins we accumulate throughout the day because the brain is a very active uh, organ. Uh, that, that, that turned out to be very important for the health of our cognitive functions, the stability of our mood, and also um, it's, it's really, really important uh, to prevent the accumulation of bad amyloid uh, deposits that can cause a lot of cognitive issues over time, including uh, memory loss and Alzheimer's disease and different types of dementia as well. And uh, last but not least, uh, uh, people who are sleep deprived, they end up having too much ghrelin, ghrelin hormone that is the hunger hormone uh, which compels us to eat all the junk food, the sugary food because the brain is deprived from glucose so we end up eating all the sugary sweets and all the processed food that is actually bad for us and that also helps to depress the functions of our immune system. So uh, that's why in a nutshell uh, sleep is, is, is very very important. Next time I'm going to share with you some of the uh, very effective strategies to improve the quality of our sleep uh, backed up by research. Until then you guys take care and uh, stay safe, stay well and please remember to subscribe to your channel and share all the good information with everybody you know especially during these tough times. All my love.